Do you absolutely love cats? Welcome to Cute Avalanche, your virtual interactive cat cafe. Get your daily dose of cute every day. We're live right now. We foster kittens all year round and live stream 24-7. Our goal is to make Los Angeles a no-kill city. We volunteer through Kitten Rescue LA and save dozens of cats and kittens every year. Subscribe now and share our foster journey right here. trying to do something for our friends over at Instagram but it's, it's taking too long for me to find it so <clears throat> let's do this thing it's time for our Catterday cat chat this is where it does a freeze frame on me looking awful cool uh, if you haven't seen humans on camera before I am Sam my wife Amanda and I are your fosters we've been fostering for seven years now and fostered over 180 cats and kittens specializing in kittens under eight weeks old as we've seen a need for that in our local community where shelters are ill prepared to care for them uh, our current cats up here are one mom and six kittens and we'll go over the names in a little bit because i can't rattle them off that fast because i have to think um, our current goal uh is uh to get get us set up for the year of fostering that is ahead of us, we've had a lot of food and litter donations so far. Thank you. Please keep it up. When these cats switch over from mom to, to food, we're going to go through it real fast. We do these chats three times a week. Mondays at noon, Wednesdays at 9 p.m., and Saturday mornings at 9.30 a.m. We do these chats to give updates on the cats and kittens as well as give you an opportunity to ask any questions you may have about them what we do as fosters cat care in general so please feel free to ask questions and uh if you're out there in the chat drop a hi or some emotes so we know you're listening but feel free to lurk we are streaming to about eight different platforms and we should see the chat from most of those platforms if i don't respond to you your best bet is to jump into youtube or twitch and yell at me and be like hey why aren't you looking at x y and z platform and i'll see what the hell the problem was excuse me and join us February 11th for the fifth annual Super Bowl as our big kickoff to fundraising. Uh, we start every year with, we turn the room into a little furball field, decorate it, and you, the viewing audience, become our refs and determine the scores based on uh, your donations. So you can find out more about that at Super Bowl. Dot com s u p u r r b o w l dot com not not that other spelling <laughs> how's it going everyone a c g a or make a little gloom do it raindrops and ripples dribble dribble i can't i can't right now <laughs> uh my neck hurts quite a bit i slept all funky okay so cat updates uh first off for anyone who missed it these are our uh, Mooresdale, is it Moordale? Moordale cats? Yeah, I double check, there's no S in there. I feel like there should be an S. Uh, which is based off of the Netflix show Sex Education. Um, uh, the mom is Jean. The babies are Amy, Ruby, Ola, Maeve, Eric, and Otis. Uh, they're all black and white, so you can't possibly tell them apart right now. <laughs> um, Hey, Mom. Everything's fine. She's like, what are you looking at? Why are you looking at my babies? Uh, I'm going to come over a little bit. Wait. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, camera. Uh, how's it going, gang? I assume the audio video sync is okay because I did the restart. Sync. Yes, thank you. Um, so let's see. <clears throat> the kittens are, what, like two weeks old now? Is that right? Has it only been two weeks? It feels longer. But I think that's accurate. Unless someone wants to do the names thing, and then I, I can be proven wrong. They are obviously still nursing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, two weeks, two days. Thank you. Um, 
I don't know what inspired them to all move out onto the uh, little cat bed that's there, but they did, and you get a slightly closer view, so that's nice. I don't think it's going to change. That camera is not going to suddenly be like, oh, now I'll do color, but we'll see. We did put a heating pad in the area that we would prefer them to be in, and we'll see if uh, they make a move to, to go back over there. Plus, Mom's food is over there now, so maybe... Maybe if we cross our fingers, that'll happen. Um, once these cats really start to move, we're definitely going to be putting them over in the under the window area where the Tesco will get built. So that'll definitely get into color at that point. Um, it's a shame she did this when they're so small and cute. And you only get to watch them when they're just big uggos. Just kidding. How's everybody doing? I am very tired. Is it, is it apparent? Let's take a look at uh, this. All right, good, good. Um, as for our other cats, so we have a bunch of cats that were at the PetSmart enclosure. Uh, Mama Itza and Speaking Rain were adopted last week, um, as was uh, January. It's over a week now, uh, which left us with Brown Deer and Wing Feather being the last two from the Kaya litter at the PetSmart enclosure. And unfortunately, Wing Deer got Ring Feather. Whew. Wing Feather got Ringworm. Wing Feather, Ringworm. Man, good lord. Uh, got Ringworm like a couple days after we brought these cats in. And we were like, oh no, that's terrible because. We're not going to bring that cat back here and expose these cats to ringworm. And thankfully, our friend, uh, foster friend Cynthia stepped up and was like, they, I can take both of those cats uh, and, and they can be at my place because they couldn't stay at the PetSmart enclosure while they had, you know, to deal with ringworm. So they were over at Cynthia's. I have not heard any updates, but Amanda probably has. So we'll check in on that. Um, which means our only other cats are at the Cat Cafe Lounge, which is Doc and, uh, no, George and Marty? George and Marty. I always want to say Doc and Marty because it's the duo, but it's George and Marty. Um, and that's the quick roundup. Um, I guess we can flip this so that the cats are big and I'm a small. Let's do that. Uh, big, small. All right, that works. It says, oh, kitty cats are cute. I was kidding. Four kittens moved over by themselves, the other two, and mom joined. Yeah. If they keep this moving up, we're going to put them over on the other side of the room. <clears throat> I thought she just dragged them out like they just latched on and she left the... Like this kind of thing was happening. This is what happens is like they'll nurse and then mom will just get up to go do something else and they'll just be holding on and they'll go for a, like a two foot ride. Which is why we've had so many kittens like out and just like, you know, almost that area. And then they're like lost, like, hey, where am I? <laughs> it's because they went for a little latch ride. Um, I just want to make sure. Oh, you didn't have that. Hey, queen. Hi. Is there coffee left? Still my first cup, I just repeated it. Okay, I just want to see their colors and their cute bellies rubbed. Can we get some belly rub today with color? Um, we'll probably get my, my phone camera. Is My phone is charging right now. We can get close-ups in a little while. I'll be back. I just did the updates. I don't know. Why am I here? I don't know if you have any updates about... Um, so yeah, and, and 
those cameras. I just well, said they were there. Did you do? Well, I told all the names. So these cats are over here now. <laughs> the ring feather and brown deer got uh, ringworm. Well, point feather did. And Jordan and Marty are still at the Cat Cafe Lounge. And then everyone got adopted recently. Okay. I'll just re-say all the things you said. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm like freshly woken up. I'm so a little bit asleep. Um, yeah. I'm very tired and it's raining and like very, very dark here. Um, I've been working on getting a post together with like pictures of the kittens' faces and their names so that I can put it up so everybody can see all their and they put a name to a face kind of thing. Oh, good um, face name. Um, so January was adopted on Sunday and on, was it Monday? Monday. Um, Speaking Rain and Isa were adopted. Um, that day that they went home, it was the same day that Wingfeather and Brown Deer ended up going to my friend Cynthia's house, who is amazing and a lifesaver. Yeah. It was so kind of her to offer to take them. Um, he only has one teeny tiny spot on his toe. Yeah. Um, so she's been treating it with topical treatments this week to see if that would do it, but it sounds like even after like the third or fourth day it was still glowing, so mm -hmm. she might need to switch to oral. But brown deer doesn't have it, and um, it doesn't seem to be spreading or anything like that. Um, so. So yeah, last weekend was a really great weekend for adoptions. I like 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 yeah. on Monday I was feeling really or on Sunday I was feeling really good. I was like, oh today was a great day. I had like all of them adopted it just you know waiting for Isa and being ready to be picked up. And then Tuesday happened with the rain room. And I was like, ah. Um, but it was really nice of her to offer to take them. She has them now. She actually just messaged me. Um, about an application that, that wing feather or that brown deer got, uh, or just brown feather, brown, brown deer, feather? brown deer. Gosh, I, I was doing that before. So, um, I said they got. Ring. So I'm actually gonna respond to her really fast. I can't remember if I said that the cat was ring feather and it got wing worm, or vice versa. How old are the kittens? They're just over two weeks. Come on now, it's um, yeah. You can know how to do it. Age is command. No, yeah, they're two weeks, two days. Although I'm not confident that my calculation script is working accurately since everything ends in two days. So I'm gonna and and the two years for mom is off. She's like a year and a half. So something on my calculator is a little messed up, but that's what happens when you use AI to do coding. I'm gonna double check it this weekend, hopefully. And so I forgot H's command was a thing. It should be, it, it's in the title of the stream. Not that you should be look, need to look at that, but it, it is in the title of the stream, right? For Twitch, at least. I thought I'd put it back on there. All right, and yes, I'm just giving you a hard time. I should have just texted you. <clears throat> oh, it's not? Okay, thanks. Did you already respond to that guy? Good to know. I'll add it back later. Uh. Um, and these guys are doing good. They all have their eyes open now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is something I did not say. So we took pictures of them last Saturday. So their birthday was on a Saturday, so that makes it really easy. So <coughs> today they're two weeks old. Last Saturday they were one week old. So we took pictures of them last Saturday. 
and all of them had their eyes closed at seven days. And then we took pictures of them again, um, I think it was Wednesday. It was when they were 11 days old, and they all had their eyes open. Yeah. Um, so all of their eyes open between seven and 11 days. They're super adorable. I do think a couple of them might end up being fluffy, like mom. And one of them definitely is. Mm -hmm. We can tell already. The others, you know, it's, it's kittens have changed. Erin over on YouTube says, I love the Calico Baby Kitten. There's four Calico Babies. Uh, and then two of the others are cow patch. One's, one's black and white and one's like tabby well, patch. The black and white one is, I think, technically tabby. It's just very dark. Okay. Yeah, there's stripes in the, in the I, patches. Yeah. At least some of I feel like it shows in some of them, but oh, not like I all see. of them. Okay. It's interesting. Where's mom? She's over here by the door. That's good. She's on guard. Yeah, because look, you can see it stripes right there in that patch. He's the one underneath the other tabby. Uh -huh. In his tail. It's just that he's it look from like, like a, from like a distance he looks like he's black and white patch, but he's not. Yeah. They're both tabby and white patched. He's just much darker. I think he definitely got a little lighter. I think it's just the angle. Could be. Uh, but yeah, since people joined us, I don't think they all heard the names. Uh, the the so black and white, the two black and white are Otis and Eric. Yeah, Eric and is the more stripy of the two, and Otis is the one that looks like he's black and white. Yeah, and then the calicos are Maeve, Ola, Ruby, and Amy, and Mom is Jean. And Maeve, you can tell her she because so black. Maeve is like we have two like straight calicos. And then two calicos that are tabby calico. So of like the two straight calicos, Maeve is the one that has like a big black spot on her face. Um, it's like she has a dark hood. Yeah. <coughs> Executioner's and then hood. Ruby is the other calico. And then the two calicos that are like like uh, tabby calicos are Amy and Ola, and Amy is the one whose face is mostly orange, and Ola's is a, like a half orange, half tabby, like yeah. half orange, yeah. half brown tabby. They're black tabby. Uh, the so. little wobble beans. They're so stinking cute, man. And she's doing like such a good job, like <coughs> super yeah. pudgy and healthy and sweet. And Should be pretty easy. Maybe, for sure. Ruby and Ola are the two kind of closest, but then once you see their bodies and you can tell that they're um, one is tabby and one isn't, <coughs> it's a little bit easier because I Ola has a lot of tabby. I think Maeve, is it Otis, and Amy are all the new ones. Yes, I think that also. Yeah. <coughs> Yes, those are the three exact ones that I was looking at yesterday. Yep. Okay. Welcome to Cat Genealogy 101. <laughs> we'll be taking your genetic bets today. Amy, for sure. Amy, this seems like very fluffy to me. <laughs> so they, they, they were sleeping under the cat tree. And then when mom was like done nursing and they were asleep, she would come out and lay in front of them. So I put that great bed down for her to lay on and she <laughs> appreciated it and she was laying on it. Yeah. And then last night the kittens like followed her to it. 
so she was nursing them on that all night, and then when she was nursing, she was come lay on the floor. <laughs> and I'm like, I feel like she should just go lay in there, yeah, she and, then another bed, and then they'll and then follow. Just keep her. putting beds yeah, until we get that. over to this side of the room. Sure. Or if she just laid under the counter, you'd <clears> go back under there. Sure. Um, we did, like, we moved this. Um, carrier like up against the bed we covered it with a blanket I put a heating pad in it like I did all these things to try and make it really like enticing and nothing <laughs> and, <you laughs> like, put her, and I put I put treats in it oh. so that that's why I was giving her those treats the <clears> other night right. I put treats in it to get her to go in it yeah. because she wouldn't go in it on her own yeah. and then she just came right back out put the scratcher next to it she's been using the scratcher a lot the cardboard scratcher um so yeah, I don't know. Okay. I, don't know. I also might just be like too small. I don't know. Sure. If it's not roomy enough, it's that. If that's why she wouldn't be in it, because it was like too enclosed or something. Right. Okay. Uh, hello, insomnia. Hello, knees. Hello, Aaron Scott. That's a nice name. Hi, Ormic. Hello, Queen. Hello, CG. Hello, all of you. Oh. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, a lot of donations this past week from some yes. very generous people. Oh, and we I have a thing to open. on the board here. We, because, I, so I very rarely like put out a call for donations on my Instagram, um, but I did that this time because we needed it, and I got new people, <laughs> um, and some of them <coughs> were previous adopters of ours. So Christopher, who um, adopted Pickle, donated, sent us a donation. Emma, who adopted Rocky and Columbia, sent us a donation. And Allison, who adopted Goose and Phoenix, sent us a donation, as well as my friend Jen in Michigan, who follows us closely. She's a big time cat lover. Um, and then, what were the other two? I think it was the Sarah uh -huh. one that I, Sarah name that I put on there, was actually somebody who had um, applied, applied for Columbia and one of her other brothers, not Rocky, it was uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Frank, but she had already, I, like, I just adopted her to the other woman, so I thought she, that was funny, that it was two was Columbia people. Big house, or was she <laughs> the the woman who adopted, was an actor, or was that No, 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 that was somebody else. Okay. Um, that person ended up adopting from that's Bridget. Different. Yeah, yeah. Two of Bridget's kittens. I don't remember what cats that woman was applying for. Okay. Um, Emma doesn't. She lives like yeah. more, you know, like San Fernando yeah. or something like that. So it's like okay. big houses. <laughs> but also Ormic. You didn't say Ormic. <laughs> well, I was, was not an adopter. Because I was specifically talking about, yeah, the yeah, previous right. adopters. But yes, and of course Ormic Thank adopted you. to us as yeah. well. So thank you, everybody. And we have another package today. So we'll open that. And then thank that mysterious person from New Zealand, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying your ramp of, of Instagram posts, Amanda. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I feel like this right time of year I do a lot because it's less crazy. Yeah. And then as it gets further and further into kitten season and also it gets further into the end of my school year, not only the end of my school year, but the end of the kids' school year, mm -hmm. I like, I lose it. Like, I just, I, like, so for instance, there's not a single <coughs> post about Willie from last year yeah. on my Instagram at all. So Willie's out. just not named. <laughs> it looks like I never fostered him. Um, who else didn't get, there was somebody else that just didn't get any love <coughs> um, at all. So I feel bad because there's a lot of Monet in my Instagram, but like zero Willie. And it just it I just happened had on ours just happened at a time where like hours, I yeah. didn't have the capacity to do Instagram. Yeah. You know, I just couldn't do it. I have too much happening. Um, too much going on. But this time of year it's kinda like it's 
winter, it's cozy, sure. you're not doing a lot. It's kind of like the, the slow season for cats. Yeah. And we just came off Christmas break and like whatever. And so I feel like, well, just first of all, if I have cats that I really want to get adopted, I feel a enormous pressure to yeah. post them on my Instagram because I know that will help their chances of getting adopted. Right. So <clears throat> that's one reason I've been posting a lot lately was to get Issa's family yeah. taken care of. Um, and then when we grabbed this new family, we just needed stuff. We just had no food, no litter. We're broke. Yeah. Just right after the holidays, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> we needed help. Yeah. Um, and they're freaking cute. Yeah. I mean, they just are. They are freaking cute. They are. I, and I've been working on this post for Instagram, which I will get up today. Like I said, that will have their like faces and their names and everything. Oh, yeah. Um, like even Jack and Meg. I had like one post of Jack and Meg last. Yeah. Last year during that time. Right. Oh, Nacho. He's the other one. Not a single picture of mm. Nacho. I only have one post, and it's Queso and Beans. Yeah. When I was trying to get Queso and Beans adopted, right. I did a post on them. But because Nacho got adopted quickly, I just I, I don't have any posts of them like before they were adoption ready, or it's the same time as Willie. It was I had them and Willie same time. It was a crazy time of year. Hey, Cami Source Rex over on you now. Thank you. Thanks for inviting your your crew. I've seen you do this several times, so much appreciated. Uh, and that's why. And we also, are, uh, I really like your name. Cami Swords, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, hope you're doing well. Oh my God, the kittens. Yes, we'll be getting them. Uh, we'll we'll bring in my phone later, and I'll be able to get some close-ups in color, since they've chosen to pick the darkest part of the room, and the night vision camera won't flip over to yeah. daytime vision. And it's also just like extra dark in here today. It is very dark in here today. It's raining. Yeah. It's gonna rain for us all weekend and into the, the week. Yeah. Um, so. I'm going to go get my phone in a minute because I also want to put a t-shirt on because it's weirdly warm in here today. Which, not usually. Um, but it's FYI, nice. we also are multicasting. We're streaming to about eight different platforms. So if you're on a platform you've been talking and we haven't responded to you, hop over to the one of the ones we've responded to and tell us. Which <laughs> are those platforms? Uh, so. Twitch, YouTube, and you now are definitely coming through. All right. I know for a fact if you're on Instagram, I have to specifically look for it. But everything else should funnel into the one thing. Uh, Samia says we got snow over here in Indiana. Wow. Dang. Yeah, my mom has snow in Michigan. Oh, really? The two. She mm. was like, it's 11 degrees. Oh. A lot of snow they have. They Give are actually, they, the my parents live on like, on like a canal oh, yeah. that feeds out to one of the Great Lakes. And um, it's frozen. <laughs> it's frozen behind Your her house. house. frozen? No, the, the, the canal. Lake, they buy them, the canal. Yeah, the canal. Right, my stepdad was going to walk oh, out that's right, the canal. That's right. Yeah. I mean, it's a big canal. You know, you can fit boats and stuff go through. Um, but yeah, crazy. Give me all the snow. How's your weather means? Means is at the opposite end of the spectrum. She's in like full time summer mode. Is it hot where you are? Means, what's your what's your weather like these days? Are you like sweating? I honestly prefer this time of year versus summer. I mean, if I still lived in Michigan, I would not prefer the winter. <laughs> um, when I lived in Michigan, I definitely preferred like spring, summer, fall. Um, but now that I'm in California, I don't really prefer the summer. I like the winter. I like bundling up and like sweater and boot. Sweater? Sweater? I like sweater and boot weather. Sweater weather. Um, yeah. And in the summer, sometimes it gets so hot here that you don't even want to leave your house. You just have to stay in the air conditioning all the time. And when it's like over 100 degrees, and a lot of times that'll happen for like several weeks in a row, it's just too much. You can't even get in your car because you're like burning yourself on the 
the seat and the steering wheel. It sucks. I don't I don't like that very much. Uh, my mom. Okay. The snow is really pretty. I don't have it. <laughs> <clears throat> my mom loves jokingly saying sweater weather in a jersey accent. kids really like it if I speak in my like fake Boston accent, but I don't do it very often. I think it's hilarious. All right. Let's see what we can do. My mom loves to be saying sweater weather in a Jersey accent. I'm not sure I know exactly what a Jersey accent is. Uh, Jersey, Jersey X. No, that's Boston. I know. That's what uh, I'm saying. Was I should be able to do this because, Boston. like, I spent. Sam three, was born in New Jersey. For I spent three whole years there, so. Those were your not normal years. It's somewhere. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> it's somewhere between a New York and a, and a Boston. In a Boston, accent. yeah, it's like in the middle. I just can't do it right now. I'm tired. Um, I could do all of the other major <laughs> it's hot, East Coast accents. It's hot, damn hot, real hot. It's only 7 a.m. It's already hot. Yeah, that's how it is here in the summer. I'm sorry, means I would rather have this weather. I'm like, I'm, I'm into the rain. I don't have anything I need to do this weekend, except like, you know, a million pounds of laundry. So I'm fine with staying in on a rainy weekend. So I'm not really sure what to do here because initially I thought we would move them over here yeah. this weekend, right? Because um, they're, they're starting to be a little bit more mo mobile, they're starting to move around. Yeah. So we thought we would build the test bow in the corner over here and relocate them to this area. But now that it's raining all weekend, yeah. I'm wondering if the sound of the rain outside the windows is going to bother her. Uh -huh. I don't know. Because when I, I got woken up this morning at like 6 a.m. and it was raining pretty hard and it was like there were some crowd, crazy sounds happening outside her window. Uh, sorry folks, I think I have to flip this over so it will go down. There, that's bad. It's not the smoothest adjustment. It kind of like clicks to different positions. Alright. It was fine covering her face with it, it just moved with it. Her tail is massive as a part squirrel. Yes. Yes, her tail is humongous. Like, it's huge. Yeah. Like, so when, when she's like standing, Right, and you're looking at her and your pet her and whatever. She has that big kind of mane thing going on where like, you know, from the bottom of her ears all around her chin is its own little section of like very thick long fur, right? So she's got like this whole separate mane. But then the fur on her body is more of a like medium length. It's extremely thick, mm -hmm. but it's not like, <clears throat> super long hair. It's more of a medium length. Um, but then when you get to her tail, it's like <sighs> like her tail, especially if she sticks it up in the air and it just fans out and yeah. it's like it's like this big. Which are both like Maine Coon it's um, attributes. It's huge tail. <laughs> so I think she's definitely like part got like at least a part Maine Coon going on in there. Yeah, she's so. a small cat. I though. don't think so. She's but like very, so Maine Coons have the such tail, a distinct face, saying, facial features. Like she's she could be part ragdoll. Sure. I mean, by looking at her face and her ear, she doesn't have ear tufts on the top realize, of her ears. But she has she ears like this. She does have ear tufts. She, she has ear tufts on the inside of her eyes. Sure. I think and it could be, the tall ones. I think it could be ragdoll. I think it could be, um, like, what's the other one? 
that's similar to that. Persian? Not Persian. Something similar. That's another like long-haired yeah. kind of thing. Um, yeah, her tail is messy. Yeah. And her belly is super fluffy. So yeah. like, like a lot of moms will like lick their fur off around the their nipples as they're like preparing to deliver their kittens. Yeah. Um, so that it's like a clean area and the kittens are able to find the nipples easily. Uh, she did not do that. <laughs> There's so much fur down there. I don't know how those kittens are eating. Like, I don't know how they're finding anything. I don't know what's happening. It's crazy. She reminds me a lot of Beatrice. We had a really, um, a long-haired litter of three sisters, B, Betty, and Iris. And um, she looks a lot like Beatrice and Iris from that litter that we had. Sliding on the wood, not good when trying to nurse. Oh, yeah. oh. I don't know, sometimes it's hard to distinguish the difference between Boston and Jersey. The weather out there today is hot and shitty in the afternoon, hot and shitty in the afternoon. It's, a, it's like that Christmas song. It's hard, it's just a fun thing. I don't know why her um, things are coming through twice. Uh, her comments. Yeah, I, 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 don't know. I think. That's Hello, right. Raiders. Try Here this. are some. Oh, wow, her tail is messy. Okay, already did that part. All right, if you're on. Mr. Me, hello. Uh, can the. They're sliding on the wood. Not good. They're trying to nurse. Um, oh, the bodies are actually on the. Mean says Norwegian forest cat. That was her thing the other day. Um, if uh, someone over on you now could do a chat message just to test things. It was coming in twice, and I just closed one of the windows, but I want to make hello, sure Jennifer. that something's still coming through. And hello, Jennifer. Um, Yeah. In this litter, They're very obviously close. the boys are larger than the girls, but all of the girls are almost exactly the same weight. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, there's what, a 20 gram difference from the, no, no, 40 grams from the biggest to the smallest? Glasses, could we have an appointment to do that Wednesday? Ah. Okay. Hey, Mom, what you doing? You checking out my camera? <laughs> two quotes from Good Morning Vietnam. Oh, wow. It's been too long since I've seen that to catch that. <laughs> but yes, I vaguely remember the one at least. I don't think Amanda's ever seen that. What? Good morning, Vietnam. Robin Williams. Mm -hmm. Vietnam. You've seen it? Yeah, like a million years yeah. ago. Who is the biggest one? Asks CG. Um, the mom? No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's it's um, Eric, the uh, one of the two boys. With the the boy with the more stripy patches. Uh, Mean says making out. She's the hero. Month. Cody was working every day. I had a day off. Which we'll get over Christmas in the year. Sure. Right, well, now that mom moved, I'll try and adjust the camera a little.
She's super friendly. Hi. She's like, not just friendly, she's like super affectionate. Like Itza yeah. was not as affectionate. Right. Itza was like plenty calm and confident and fine, and, you know, plenty friendly. But she didn't want to like, it took Isa a long time to like sleep with us or like hang out on the bed with us. She wouldn't come over and like beg her pets. Like this cat just wants to like rub all over us. Yeah. And like if the kittens weren't so little, I'm sure she'd be sleeping with us. Yeah. She has so much fur on her back end, and I don't know how she keeps it so clean. Right. <laughs> we'll just say that for her. Like, I'm shocked. I've never had yeah, like a long-haired cat like, of my own. Like, I've fostered yeah. long-haired cats, but I've never owned a long-haired cat. And I'm, like, fascinated at how this remains so clean. Yeah, and I right. don't see her grooming that often. So it's like... Yeah, what's and I don't see her grooming them that often. Right. But their bedding is very clean yeah like for most of the time when we get moms like when i set that thing up over there i put layers of blankets because i assumed especially in those early weeks you're changing the, the blanket a lot so i yes. thought well i'll just pull up the top layer you know so i'll get for layers to make it quick and easy to change because a lot of the times getting like you know fur and like pee and poo and like stuff right. from the kittens on there yeah and like She's, but I never see her grooming them. <laughs> no, never. <clears throat> I mean, I did a minute ago, but yeah, it's she just it's fast and efficient or something. I guess. See, now she's laying in the wood. Mm hmm. last night. Okay. <clears throat> that was for Amanda since I told you yesterday. I figured, but still reading it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, we got this thing to open. Um, Iris does have martial arts in about um, half an hour. A little over half an hour. We'll have to wrap things up. Uh, Jennifer, yes, she is very pretty. Um, and super soft and fluffy. Sam, maybe imagining the day when she can leave the kittens, that she'll climb his hip. You know what? 
I don't think she wants to climb his hair, but they're buddies. I think she wants to just like lay all over him and rub all over his face, maybe. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> she likes Sam. I think she has a crush on him. I need more coffee. Uh, there's more coffee. Thank you. <laughs> Did you make more? Oh, um, is this gonna be this the end is of it? Get, I can make more when you get back. You can fill it. Or just leave my cup there. And when you come back, I'll do it. On your long sojourn. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, okay, I guess we'll, we'll set on glasses. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, February 11th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we will be having our fifth annual Super Bowl, uh, which is our kickoff to fundraising for the year. We attempt to raise funds to get food and litter, which people have already started donating. Thank you so much for that. Uh, everything that's gotten here already is probably going to be consumed by these guys. And then hopefully we can stockpile a little for the next fosters to come through. Uh, but it's a big fun day. <clears throat> I decked the room out in sports style uh, decorations and the scores are um, controlled by the viewing audience and their donations. There's a bunch of other triggers uh, if you join us on Twitch specifically. Uh, unfortunately, I can't extend those to most of the other platforms just yet, but hopefully in the coming years we'll be able to do that. Um, but yeah. You can check out our YouTube for some clips and archives of past seasons. I think I have a couple, oh right, it is my copy, uh, a couple big, like entire seasons to post that should be going up soon. It's kind of one of the things I'm working on this weekend is posting old archives and clips. Uh, but yeah, you can find some stuff there, or head over to the link means just through into the Twitch chat, which is superbowl.com, S-U-P-U-R-R, bowl.com, and find out more. But yeah, it's a real fun time, and I talk like this for about two hours straight, which is way too long for me to do that. So if anyone's interested in shoutcasting, uh, get in touch. <laughs> What's up, Mama? Oh man, it's coming back. Alright, time for me to make coffee. And then we'll open the package. Yeah, I was just going to say that we should open the package. You want to do it before I get coffee made? Oh, no, it's okay. Okay. CG asked a few minutes ago, who's the biggest kitty? I don't know if Sam responded to that or not, but they're really, I mean, both of the boys are really similar in size, but I suppose the biggest one is Eric, which is the, uh, the one that's white and tabby. Um, not the one that looks white and black, <clears throat> but the two boys are bigger. For me? Oh, thank you. Just kidding. All right, I'll go grab some bells. <laughs> Hi, Mama. And your baby's off the bed. Should we relocate them back under the cat tree? What do you think, lady? What do you think? Hi. So whenever I come over here, she gets up because she just wants me to pet her. That's what happens.
have a land of the east. Otis is here, he's sleeping. He's also a tabby and white, but he looks more black because he's been covered in black. He's conked out. Otis is usually sleepy. So this one is the other calico tabby with an orange face. This is Amy. Show is over. <laughs> belly rub? A mommy belly rub? Hmm? Can I get a mommy belly rub? You're swishing everybody, lady. She came in like crowd surfing. <laughs> so those are the three that are like the most tabby. Ula or Ola? Ola, I guess not Ula. Amy and Eric. And then this is Otis, who looks, he is tabby, but he looks more like black and white. And then Maeve is super easy to tell because she's got this big black patch on her face. The other like full calico is this one and her black spots are not as rich they're a little bit mixed with the lighter areas and she has just black and orange on her face and this is ruby a little too high for her face oh sorry ruby there you go nobody is sleeping cg Everybody is flapped. Oh. <clears throat> she doesn't really want to nurse you guys. She just wants to. Oh no. What happened? Mom. She not going to roll on iPad or is she not going out? She likes to rub on the camera. Yeah, of course. For a second there. That's Amy. That's nice. Very good. Amy is watching out. Nathan, no, February 11th. URL. It's the best URL. It's on it. Okay. It's between you guys. That's cute. That's Lula. Cute, cute. Whatever you do, don't clip that.
you can flip the whole thing over if it's easier to get the camera closer because it's the top right now. Yeah. And these three are just popped out. <laughs> And then mom. Look at this gorgeous Hey, it's me. Tail. Show off this giant tail. <clears throat> yeah. Gloom Doom says, I can't handle the cute. You want the cute? You can't handle the cute. <laughs> she waved. She What's today's date? The 20th. Based on the shelters people? Mm -hmm. No, not yet. Days. I will. Okay. But not yet. Okay. I mean, because I'm going to have to go. Because she just sent me their yeah. ID numbers right. yesterday. <coughs> okay. So I'm going to have to go into the system and look all of them up based on their shelter ID and then assign their names okay. based on that. So okay. it's going to take me. I'll probably do it today. Someone has the dreaded. Yeah. Um, wing feather has ringworm, if that's what we're talking about. So, wing, wing feather and brown deer were our 
last two remaining uh, fosters at the pet smart enclosure and he got just the smallest little bit on his foot um, <clears throat> and it was like a day after we brought these guys in uh, so we were you know really panicking that we were gonna have to bring him and, and uh, brown deer here which would be terrible because we had nowhere to put them and that would expose everyone in the house including mom and kittens but thankfully our foster friend Cynthia stepped up and said that they can go to her place so that is where they are now and they will be there for some time until that clears up um, and then I don't know uh, what our status on getting back into like the pet store enclosure is or yeah, if we have to when, go to somewhere once else the right, ring worm, right term, <coughs> once the ringworm is gone they will, I will either um, try to get them back into either PetSmart in you know, the park where they were, or I may try the PetSmart in Stevenson so, Ranch just okay. to give them a different location, different, you know, the doctor base yeah. kind of thing. <clears throat> um, or they'll just come back here and they'll end up just kind of being like yeah. who's in our house with <coughs> our cats, right. which wouldn't be ideal because our four cats, cats are stressed yeah. enough as it is. Um, That'd be a lot. So. Is this room, well not this room, it was the PetSmart enclosures. So. Yeah, and, they weren't here. <clears throat> um, and who knows? Yeah. I mean, they had just cleaned out a bunch of stuff and got rid of or Right, like they, they, trees, but they got new cat trees there after right. they had had a case of ringworm, but like all the bedding and blankets and everything yeah. that they use are the same. And yes, they wash <coughs> them, but they right. don't maybe necessarily wash them with like Sanitized. bleach or like yeah. super hot water. <coughs> and like right. Some of the beds especially don't get all clean super yeah. great in like their nooks and crannies because well, I'm sure nobody's putting, cleaning the it's not like you're putting itself, them really. in, um, in like a commercial laundry right. or something like yeah, that. Like the, the volunteers are just taking them home and yeah. doing it in their house. Um, and then also they have toys. They have a bunch right. of used old toys. They don't like replace their toys yeah. between cats or anything right. like that. Um, it's just, you know, it's, it's definitely not, not like, because the assumption is, is that all cats who go there are adoption ready and healthy. Yeah. It's not like it's a ward for, you know, underage kittens or something. Right. Um, <clears throat> so things are not, and it's just volunteers. Yeah. Do, doing everything. With zero budget. And they're not even fosters. They're just pe people who volunteer to come and like play with the cats and feed them. Yeah. So they're not like sanitizing things. Like, right. Super neat as well. So my guess is, is that he got it there, and my guess is that he got it and nobody else did because his immune system is compromised because he right. had that, um, that, uh, abscess mm -hmm. um, but then there's also <clears> that because he had the abscess he left there for a week he went to a vet he could have gotten Got it at that. the vet sure. as well. that's another option um, but definitely his immune system was compromised which is why he came down with it and nobody else did yeah. um, which would make sense he's also had this weepy eye happening and it's pretty much been chronic since he was little and we've tried just about every different eye drop and ointment you can think of and like it doesn't seem to be going away, so I think that is just going to be a lifelong chronic condition for him, which is right. unfortunate, but like, you know, not a huge deal. <laughs> okay, <coughs> so this litter is litter 44 for us as far as fostering goes. I have it as 45, I'm pretty sure. I think so you're not counting miss. something. I don't know. It's either a solo that you put in with yeah, another group probably. or Lexi. No, I'm counting Lexi. We can go over that later. So Meanwhile, I'm thinking it's a solo. Yeah, I did. So. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we have Lexi. Lexi is going to be here for the rest of the day. He's not on the litter. And then their foster numbers 169 to 175. So at this point, we have fostered 175 cats and kittens, plus some, you know. 
of this. Temporaries yes. that we've taken care of. <clears throat> 175. So I'm wondering if by the end of 2024, we will hit 200. I and I think yeah. when we hit 200, we should have a celebration. Yes. We should. Yeah. So this coming May will be our seven year anniversary of fostering. Yeah. We'll have been fostering for seven years. Yeah. And we're about to hit, well, hope, I, we're not about to hit. Hopefully by the end of the year, we will hit 200. We should. Yeah. 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 Let's call those cake people. What's that reality show? They do things. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I can't think of what it's called. Um, cake wars. No, it's team. Called. Food team. <laughs> squad. Fake squad. Fake squad. Fake squad. <laughs> <clears throat> that would be pretty funny, actually. They could make us a cat theme. Cat cake. Cake. Yeah. Do it. Right, let's see what I can do. I have to see if they're in production. All right, let's switch things up so we can open Mises' package so she can go have a day. Um. Oh, and like I mentioned this before, oh. but there were not very many people in here. Uh, the, did you fix the age function thing? So not they, yet. So the age function, when you put it in, it's correct for the kittens, but for mom, it says that she's two and a half years old. And she is not two and a half. She's one and a half. I don't know why the math, like we put in her birth date as a correct birth date, but for some reason the computer's yeah, math is wrong. Right. And it keeps saying she's a year and a half, or two, two years and a half when she's really one and a half. Yeah. So um, just so everybody knows, she's, she's one and a half. She's still young. Yeah, she's a spring chicken. Okay. Means wants us to open her. Yes. Yeah. So it's opening. Okay, great. It's not cosmic. You were right. Uh, Cat treats. Oh, hey. Hairball hair treats. Okay. Oh, gosh. Yeah. What kind of order to these You things? already know it's from memes. What if she said it something says, nice about me? <coughs> Why are you reading it? That's not you how we do it. Read it. Happy New Year from memes. You know, leave the cat puns to the professionals. <laughs> Thank you, Means. Thank you, Means. All right. Yay. So, yes. Hairball treats. Sorry, I can already tell what this is. Which we I'm need. It's not an easy open package. You want to see? This is Cat toy. the springs and things. Springs and things. Fun. So, it is oh, these oh. little Chinese finger trap finger toys. toys. Which we need to bend the ends in. Oh, and yeah, sure. Springs. Spring toys. Oh, it's individual. Oh, no, there's no, they're three just, they're in rainbow colored. So it's, there's three intertwined. I no, mean, there's four. There's, are there in each pack? Yeah. Yes, there is four. You're right. Because there's four colors. It's weird that they're all just groups. Yeah, and the other ones, they're <laughs> like, Strange. you get all the blues together and all oh, the yellows okay. together okay. and all the greens together. But in this one, it's like one of each color. It's like one green, one blue, one yellow, one pink, and one pack. Yeah. All right. And there's several. Is there something else in there? Is yes, like a little box? Else. Hold on. What's unfortunate is that these are, I think, two of their favorite toys. Yeah. Like all cats just go crazy over both of these toys. The sad thing is, is that they're the hardest ones to keep in this room. Yeah. Because they, they go, go under, under the door like immediately. To... And even if we put the thing in front of the door, they go into Sam's closet. Yeah. And these are like blocked. And this is the last thing. Oh, yay! Right. Yay! So this one is like a de-shedding, de-matting kind of comber thing. Yeah. But this one is just like a regular comb, which is really what I wanted. I wanted... For me! No. Like that one, I do like it, but its bristles are really short. And because her fur is so long and thick, I wanted something that I can just comb her out with. Not necessarily de-shed her or like de-mat her. Like I didn't want to take her fur off. I just wanted to like give her like a scratch. This and looks like, like you're making pasta. Brush it out at the same time. This looks like you I think this will be good. a bunch of dough and you're like, and now I make spaghetti. I think these are all going to be good for her for like different reasons. 
I was looking at that for ages because I was sure you got one last week, but it said highest priority. Yeah, it's definitely different. Yeah, it was, we got this different. one last week, which is very different. This is like for shedding and stuff and not. Tires. Tires. I was, it just took me a while to find just this thing. <laughs> I had put this one on first, but I think they're all going to be really useful. This yeah. one's great. It's, it looks kind of. Intimidating. So it has like so I saw one like this at PetSmart, um, and I was like yeah. checking it out when I was there. So. Sorry, what time is it? Can I wait for you to change? It's ten fifty. It's close. Pretty soon. Thank you, Means. The babies are so cute. Oh, Aren't they so cute? Thank you, Means. Right. Right, go out. about your day. Move, move, please. I'm gonna uh, flip us back to kittens. The thing looks straight down. I know, it's it's a little scary looking, but it's not sharp or anything. It's just crazy. Um, so us here. Oh, I can hear kittens purring. And bring this back on. Usually it's just mom purring, but I hear kittens purring. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, let's put us down. Maybe here. Oh, you're just using the comb, you're not using the... Yeah, I'm just kind of like scratching there with it. Okay. Awesome. Put these things up here. For like if she has a mat, yeah, and you need to like get yeah, the yeah, mat yeah. out, right? Yeah. So it's for me. One hundred bucks a dread. What do you guys think? <laughs> Yesterday when she took Mia. Oh wait, did I miss something? No. Uh, I got angry and sick and then tired and went to bed. I need something to keep my mind busy while she's gone. Nathan will say yes, but won't give you any money. <laughs> yep. I know the score. Nathan will say a thousand from dread. No, five. Come on, Nathan. You say five bucks. Yeah. Get real, dude. Yeah, dude. Rough economy. <laughs> Won't somebody think of the kitties? Dreads Sam. Um, since like 1993, four, something like that. Yeah, it's more than half my life at this point. They passed drinking age a while ago. Because 
you know, ringworm and right. things we've had in the past. Um, and I also just like, like, the last time we had a long term cat, which was Chris, like, I like to just kind of give the, the brush that I've been using with them mm -hmm. because they're like used to it and it works for them. And, you know, Um, I got, did get updates from both January's adopter and Pizza and Rain's doctor, and uh, they're all doing great. The, so Pizza and Rain got adopted by a very sweet family, and they have a seven-year-old daughter who reminds me a lot of Iris. Um, just very sweet and very like petite and like quiet huge animal ever. She made them a big box, like play structure nice. thing out of like Amazon boxes. Cool. And like, she's so sweet. She's such a cute little kid. And, um, she, you know, she's the only child. So, <clears throat> um, so yeah, I think that they're really gonna have fun there. And I was happy that like, they picked Pizza and rain yep. <laughs> versus like wanting, you know, ground deer and wing feather or something like they pick the mom and a kitten versus picking two kittens, <coughs> which was really nice. And um, as the daughter was playing with rain, he was like, Oh, yeah, she's for sure gonna be her, her play buddy. I can tell she still has a lot of playful energy and stuff. Yeah. And he was like, and I'm cool with mom, I don't need it, I just need a cat who wants to lay on my lap. <laughs> so, nice. you know, Good. he was like, That works for me. Great. Um, and, uh, Did they send pictures or anything? Just a picture. I think she sent me was pictures or video. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then um, I did get a cute video of January playing with her new big brother. January got adopted by a couple who had already had an eight month old kitten who was like very friendly and playful and really needed a playmate. <coughs> Gamer says I'm just taking a new cup on a walk. Awesome. So I have a cute video of like oh. January chasing after her new brother. Nice. Um, <coughs> Gamer, you need to post pictures on the Discord. You need to see this puppy. So she sent me, it's like there's a lot, so it's a couple seconds of her playing lawn toy with rain. That's pizza. It's a big box. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I should probably get going. I was just going to say that. Yeah, I was ready. And I assume you don't need to keep the box. No. I don't need the box. Well, what does this have on it? Kind of instructions? Okay. Put you that thing now. back inside of it. Okay. And when we choose the doctor, we'll just put it on the box. Right. Okay. Because that one we're not going to use as often. Okay. <clears throat> Been searching everywhere for a white and black Great Dane pup, and now we have one. Oh my God! Oh, wow, Great, Great Dane. Dane! How exciting! How big! And adorable. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing about Great Great Danes is that their life span is like <clears throat> it's not long. Mm -hmm. My one of my good friends had a Great Dane, and uh, you know it was a great dog, but they they die young, man. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, gang. Thanks, and it's a girl. Cool. Thanks for hanging out. Um, where am I at? Our next chat will be, well, at least it'll be me, Monday at noon with the candlestick in the library. Um, and, uh, yeah, mark your calendars for February 11th, Sunday, February 11th at 11 a.m. That, that, whatever time it is for you right now, that's the time. Uh, for our Super Bowl spectacle. Uh, although, based on kitten energy, times are, are 
fluid. <laughs> it may change if we decide that they're more active at a different time of day. Um, but it's pretty much an all day thing anyway. And uh, yeah, if you've got an Instagram account of your own and fur pals you want to share with us, always include our hashtag cute avalanche in your posts and it'll appear here at the end of every chat. You can also post them over on our Discord. It'll appear here at the end of every chat as soon as, there we go, <laughs> that logo goes away. Um, and we'll see you next time. Uh, I'll leave this camera on for just a few minutes, but it is my phone, so I do need to take the color camera with me shortly. I'm going to do a few things, and I'll come back and grab it. Thanks for hanging out, gang. See you later. Have a good weekend to you, too. Thanks, Bloom Doom. And I might be in and out uh, working on the chat bot, trying to get the ages command functioning better. Uh, so we may see you in a little bit. All right, for those of you on Instagram, let's do this. And I can drop us out. No. Uh, no. Hide. How come it's... Why is it doing that? What's the problem? Uh, the pip has the... That should have gone away when I hit the height thing, but it didn't for some reason. Okay. <coughs> Great. <coughs> I wonder if I should just move them all back under the capture. Just move them all into the camera. <laughs> You're going to move them.
back to grab my phone and turn the volume down. Sorry, gang.